Welcome to clickmyproject.com Project title Minimizing Radio Resource Usage for Mission to Mission Communications through Data Centric Clustering Let's see the abstract Since the radio resource available for MTM communications is typically limited if the amount of data to transport is large such resource agnostic and data agnostic clustering techniques could lead to the sub-optimal performance. To address this problem, we propose data-centric clustering in a resource-constrained mission-to-mission network by prioritizing the quality of overall data over the performance of individual machines. We first formulate an optimization problem to minimize the amount of radio resource needed for supporting two-tier cluster of the communications. We then partition the formulated problem into inner power control and the outer cluster formation sub-problems and propose the algorithms for solving the problems. While power control can be optimally solved for any given cluster structure by the proposed algorithm, cluster formation is an empty hot problem. It has been envisioned that a huge amount of machines will be installed and Interconnected in the future form, facilitate the better living experience for human beings. Different from the conventional wireless sensor network, in many of these mission to mission applications, missions are necessarily limited in the form factor, processing capability, and energy supply at most of sensors. So, effectively, support the long range large scale mission to mission communication. Therefore, several standardization bodies for next generation communication system have actively investigated the mechanism for mission type communication. Now we are going to see the flow diagram. First, the network formation is processed. That is, we have to deploy the number of nodes and the base station in the required position. Then the node uh, are formed as the clusters. The group of nodes are uh, performing the clustering mechanism. After that, the cluster head is choose to call each and every cluster in the network. Then, to check the resources are available or not. By using the neighbor examination technique, the resources are gathered. If the resource is available, means it allocates the resources, that is, channels are allocated, and then it performs the transmission process. If any resources is not available means it has been performed the resource available checking process until a defined resource is gathered. After the transmission we have to calculate the performance of the network with the matrices like the throughput etc. which is compared with the existing system. Let's see the output running procedure. First, open the terminal window. Then go to the directory where we have the code. To run the file, ns space filename.ep. This is the command for run the file. Here, 62 nodes are created in the network. Uh, K1 variable or the cluster head which is dynamically choose in the network. Since the nodes are randomly deployed in the network area, the cluster head are not um, choosed at some time. In that case, we have to run the code repeatedly. This is the network animator window. Here only we see the output of our simulation. These are all the nodes that created in the network area. Now we are going to run the simulation. These two are the base station that is created in the network. The simulation time is running here. We can speed up the simulation process by moving this uh, icon. Now the clusters are created in the network. For each and every cluster, the cluster will be created also. Now in this area, four clusters are created and for each cluster, cluster will be created. 
Now the cursor head start communication with the base station. So first a cursor member communicate to the cursor head and then from the cursor head the packet is transferred to the base station. So this one to one communication are considered as the mission to mission communication. Each and every node in the network are considered as the machines and it performs the communication process by packet transmission. The data which we send are all considered as the packet in our simulation process. So see the performance results, tap to the terminal window and type GNU plot graph one dot plot. So this is the DA graph that is end to end delay. The number of nodes are varied and the end to end delay is calculated. The existing system have higher delay which is represented in this color, but uh, in our proposed system, by minimizing the radio resources, we have less delay. That is, we achieve the better performance than the existing system. That's all. The demo is completed now. Thank you for watching this video.